Hi friends, hope you are all doing good. This is CA Damodra Pagdala. I would like to share today my experience with a rummy game and how that is going to connect with CA exams. Uh, the moment the lockdown announced, I got stuck in my hometown in Andhra Pradesh. Um, then I felt very happy that it's the right time for us to spend effective time with our family members and you know, all the uh, people around in the village. Um, as you all know that we can't do anything, we can't move out and we also go and, can't go and play games outside and when it comes to profession, now everything is stopped. So it's only thing we can do is we can spend time with family members and enjoy the life. So that's how I was like you now started the lockdown period. Uh, after a few days, my cousins and the family members they asked me, oh, "Come, let's play a rummy game." You know, I said I have no knowledge in that. Please leave me. Um, I can do something else. Uh, I can make fun, but I can't play the game. I never played it. I thought like it, this playing this game is something gambling and also it's not legal. But you know what happened? Uh, my cousins and the family members said, come, uh, let's play this. We are not going to play for money. We are going to play for fun. We are going to enjoy. We don't have anything to do. We have to spend time. So we will teach you the basics, how to play the game rules and all. We will teach you then you can pick it up over a period of time. That's how they initially motivated me. Then, okay, you know, we don't have anything to do. So I accepted. I started playing. They initially taught me the basic uh, rules. They said uh, uh, each person will get 13 cards. Uh, before I continue, I want you to watch this video only if you know playing from me. If you don't know, please go and learn that from your family members or through online, uh, through your friends, learn that, play two, three rounds, have some kinds of experience and then watch this video will understand why I'm telling playing Rummy has connection with you know, the CA exams. Now I'm a child, no, obviously I think everything and try to connect with our own profession and the exams. So now, uh, keeping in mind that you know uh, basic uh, things about Rummy game and uh, you can now go ahead and watch the video I'm trying to connect with this CA exams. You know though, after I learned the basic rules of the game, I started playing 2-3 rounds. Um, then I, I didn't win any of the rounds. Uh, my cousins know they slowly started making fun. Um, also, they told me, don't worry, you'll get this over a period of time. Just start playing. Don't worry about the losing the game and all. Then, okay, initially stage, so it's a basic thing for me. I didn't play any time. So, I was only observing on understanding the game. Since so there's a new to me, so rules they taught. I was understanding what do you mean by life, how to set an order, how to arrange the cards, where to use the joker, how to get the additional life, all these things. I was, you know, observing the game and understanding the rules. Then, after... The next day of next day like that, I was like slowly winning the game. One or two rounds I started winning the game. That's it. My cousin started prizing me. Oh good, you learn the game now. You know what happens when someone prizes? You know, we we'll get uh, automatically initially we'll get confidence level. Then slowly we will get overconfidence also. I got that. Then I thought, okay, I am good this game, I can play like that. The next one continuously five to six days. I didn't I didn't even win one game. Then um, I understood uh, I'm not mastering that. I not even know the basic things. I only know a little bit in this game. I have to learn a lot. Then afterwards I started observing how these people are playing, how to play this, what are the rules we have to follow important tricks in the game, techniques, all those things I started learning. Then I got real confidence in me. Then I slowly started winning one by one game like that. It was good. Everything was going good. It was a new experience for me. And slowly, one day, my neighbor, he is like my uncle, he is an expert in that. He, is, he play like a professional guy. You know what do you mean by professional guy in the village? 
they play for uh, money that is the main thing they do all the times now i think you know what happened after that afterwards so he joined with us he started playing including my cousins me everybody we lost the game continuously he started getting he is winning the games then i understood slowly myself i don't know what cousins felt when we start playing with professionals experts we are nothing even if you won the past even you know the rules well we are nothing we normally thinks that we are an expert but slowly what happens when we play with the experts professionals we will not able to compete with them then i slowed down myself then i understood we have to learn more that's how the game is going on but after that like you know uh, what we are doing every day we are playing the game nothing we are doing uh, sometimes we are helping the students and i am doing a lot of online classes recording the videos and clarifying the doubts that is actually my main thing now after that i slowly you know the over a period of time whatever i observed in the game i was my mind you know it was started thinking about do this game has any connection with ca exam because the moment they taught me basics we also teach to the students concepts basic concepts rules steps and important things to follow winning losing failure success learning experiences all these things you know i thought of like let's connect this with the ca exam now playing rummy how this is going to help you to understand better the ca exams that is what the topic today i am going to connect this with you people now see in ca exams like in rummy life additional life how it is very important same way in ca exams the basic thing is we have to get first minimum 40 marks to pass the exam second thing is an aggregate we have to get 50 marks in all the subjects so close to 50 percentage we have to get put together from all the subjects so we should get on an average 50 marks in each subject then afterwards if anything goes wrong with any of the subject if we lose to come out from the worst situation in any one subject we should in, if you get in any subject 60 or above we don't want to write that so you know that it's called exemption so keeping in this mind now we can connect playing a rummy has some connection with the ca exams so many things i'm going to share here over a period of time whatever experience i gain now exactly i'm going to talk about ca exams what what will happen in the ca exams the moment we get the question paper how to handle the question paper what are the situations we will face how to come out from that situation now uh, what happens when you sit with playing rummy game every round they will give you 13 cards so the moment you get one by one card like that you will get 13 cards the moment you get one by one card when you sit with the team each person expresses their opinion some people says wow this time i got a very nice good order i got the life i got a second life like that some people says worst game i'm not going to win now you just imagine what will happen the moment we get the question paper in the ca exams the moment you see the bunch of questions like how we get 13 cards in rummy we are going to get a list of questions in the ca exams the moment you look at the question paper then you will come to know some people says wow overall the question paper is really good some people say oh, this question paper is really tough i am not getting any question uh, not getting question from the chapter i studied some people say okay two three questions i am good like that some people say okay good i can pass the paper so we express our opinion now what happens in the cards game if you get if your people they just throw 13 cards to you we take one by one and keep on arrange in order the moment you see one two three four cards if that is not in the order we get tens you know we are not getting the life we are going to lose the game like that people get tens same way the moment we look at the first question second and third question like that we will get tens oh my god this why this question they ask is a very tough question lengthy question we express our opinion on the entire question paper just by looking at one or two questions that is not the right way we have to have the patience and run through with the entire questions 
like in rummy game after taking one by one cards after i get 13 cards then i'll come to know slowly one by one card will add to the other card that will give the order sequence that will slowly build life and the additional life triplet like that we can also in the exam center so read the question slowly understand what are the questions have given don't form your opinion just by reading one question on the entire question paper have the patience if you are able to do one question well then slowly you'll build the confidence and you can identify the question so you know well so now what happens um, so in this game imagine I got the life so I will show you the example I got the life now a 9 10 same symbol I got the life the moment I get the life I feel like oh god I'm going to win the game I'm good in this like that we feel but just getting the life is not going to enough to win the game we need to get additional life so 13 cards there is a there are sets we need to arrange if you know the game you know well if you are not able to arrange anywhere you can use the joker and keep the cards in the order that's how we have to use our mind it's a mind game ca is also mind application so we have to go for second life and then slowly we have to go for triple eight and arrange things in that order same way in ca exams you have to get the 40 marks and then on an average 50 marks to get the aggregate and then you have to get the exemption to come out from the worst situation so don't just um if you know two three questions well don't express your overconfidence okay i know well or at least at least performing only with the 40 marks i need to pass so I know 5-6 questions, it's giving me 40-50 marks. So you're just spending your time on that and you're not able to focus on the rest. That's not going to be helpful. Even if you pass 40 marks, you can't clear the entire group or the entire level of examination. So we have to be careful. First focus on the life, second focus on the additional life, then the other sets of cards, how in Rami we do the same way. First focus on the 40 marks, then 50 marks, then on the 60 marks. I'll tell you sometimes. The moment you look at the question paper, you sometimes express your opinion that's wow, it's a really good paper, very easy. Many times I heard from the students. I used to ask the students, how was the question paper today? They said, wow, very nice, sir. The question paper was really good, easy. But after results, I came to know that many students, they fail. I asked them, I asked them what happened? You said, the question was very nice, but you fail. They say, no, we don't know what happened, sir. Now I'll tell you what is happening in the Rummy game. You get 13 cards, everything will be in right order. Almost, almost, you need to get just one or two cards to win the game. Many games I lost like that. Just one card or two cards, I was waiting for that. The moment I see everything is in order, just one or two cards is going to add life and then I'm going to win the game. Three, five, six rounds will get over. Everything is in order. Let's say, for example, everything is in order. I just need a 10 to win the game. If I don't get the 10, I, there won't be any life. I can't win the game. So I was waiting for life, but the game over, the other people win the game. I'm not getting the life. I know everything. I read everything. Question paper is easy. I felt I wrote everything, but I couldn't clear because I didn't focus on the first thing called life. I don't have life. So I didn't focus on the first thing called 40 marks. I know the entire question paper. But the question is, have you thorough with your first 40 marks? Are you focused on that? No, we don't focus on that. We just write the whole thing. So first get the life in Rummy to win. Same way first get the 40 marks to win. You understand that? So this is how you have to connect. Each and every levels, whatever we gain from our personal life experience with the CA exams, if you are a chartered accountant, you are doing a CA, how to come out from this worst situation, how to pass the CA exam just because of spending books, time with the books, that's not going to help. You have to like connect the real life experience that you are gaining from the outside and then you have to pass the exam. That's how you have to connect. Now. I'm going to now share a few more experiences that I gained from this game. You got say 7, 8. You just need either 9 or that side 6. You can get one life like that. So the touch. The third thing is how you are discarding your cards. 
to others the fourth one how others are discarding cards to you the fifth one joker what joker you got and how many jokers you have so like this many factors involved in winning the game it's not just your fate or it's not just the cards you got same in ca exams it's not depends on one single thing how you learned the basics how you are doing your hard work how you are planning and preparing for your exams how smart you are in reading the questions and uh, cracking and applying the concepts so like this many things involved in passing the ca exam you have to identify those things see um here a game is consists of so many rounds it depends on like you no know, they have some score uh, a set of rounds are there to win this game like how in ca exams we have levels foundation inter and final level you know again the groups how we have number of attempts like that here also you have a set of rounds to win the entire game when you play each round you'll not get the same set of cards which you got earlier this very important thing last time i got this set of cards maybe like maybe easy or tough good or bad but when i go for the second round again again i'll get 13 cards next fresh round definitely it will be something new same in ce exam people normally like in schools or college level if you practice with past five six question papers you can easily clear that is not the case in ce exam you have to keep in mind that every time when you sit for exam you will be getting a entirely new set of question paper that is the mindset we have to go with the exam i think whatever experience that i gained during lockdown period with rummy game i tried my level best to connect with the ce exam my humble request now to request i have normally we shouldn't ask students to play this game but i am asking play this game at least 3 4 times or 3 4 days with your own family members don't go outside don't play for money just play for knowledge play for sharpening your mind my last request don't play this game after you understood how this game has connection with the ca exam don't continue with this game and don't allow your parents to come and beat me thank you all the best